Hello and welcome back to our continuing series of video tutorials on Corel's Paint Shop Pro Photo X3. Today I want to show you a creative method for adding a dramatic effect to your photos. More precisely, I want to show you a technique that can make your photo appear to pop out of a picture frame. Let's get started. I've chosen a photo here. The first thing I'm going to do is crop the image down to just around the flower. By clicking the crop tool and keep it in the free form mode as you can see here that's good enough when I'm done click the green check mark to apply now I'm going to choose file new and the dimensions I'm going to use are 8 inches by 8 inches so a square dimension at 300 dpi and make sure you have transparent selected here and click OK now I have both images and I want to see both of them at the same time so I'll go to window tile vertically. Make sure I have the photo image active by selecting it and make sure you have your layers palette open. That can be accessed with the F8 key or under view palettes layers. Drag the background layer, the only one we have here, drag it from the layers palette into your new blank page and let go. Great, I can close the other one now, expand this window, let's zoom in so we can fit well here, there we are. Now I want to add a picture frame around our picture. Go to the image menu, picture frame, and we have choices here. Under the picture frame menu, click this little down arrow. And you have picture frames here, but you also have multiple categories of picture frames. So under the category drop-down, I chose, of course you can choose your own, I chose a time machine, and then I chose the albumin choice. You, of course, can choose any one you want to. And make sure you have frame current layer checked off, frame outside the image checked, and none of these checked. Now I want to shrink this frame a little bit. To make sure we have the right thing selected, make sure you have Raster 2 Picture Frame Layer selected, which it should be if you haven't touched anything since you created it. Grab your Pick Tool, which is also the K key. Grab a corner of your picture frame and gently bring it in, I guess to about two-thirds the original size, and then grab the middle point and reposition it about like so. Accuracy here is really not that important. While your layer is still selected on the transparency slider or the opacity slider move that down to around 60 or 70. Um, you'll see why I did that here in a minute. Make sure your pick tool is still selected and go under the mode here for the pick for moving objects around and choose perspective. Then pull in either of the two corners like so, and let go. Keep the picture frame layer selected. Go to your eraser tool here in your tool palette on the left. Also the X key. And this is where we need to be a little precise. So up in our properties area, make sure you have these settings. Size to about 140. Hardness at 100. Density, thickness, opacity, all at 100. Rotation 0. Step at 5. Now what we want to do is I want to erase the frame, only the part of the frame that's on top of the flowers. So I'm going to do the big parts now and I can come back and do the little parts here in a second. Hold down the Alt key and the left mouse button to increase or decrease the size of your eraser. Also if you want to unerase, click with the right mouse button as opposed to the left mouse button to erase. All right. Here's what we have so far. Now you can return the picture frame opacity back to 100. So you can see why we needed it that, so we can see the flower underneath it. Now we need to erase the parts of the background that are outside the picture frame, but not any of the flower. Again, this requires some precise movements, but we have a tool that's going to help us out. It's called the Background Eraser Tool. It also helps if you have a drawing tablet, like maybe a Wacom tablet. So if you have that, take advantage of it. Again, you start with the big stuff, hold the Alt key down, get a big brush. How the background eraser tool works, click on both the parts you want to erase and the parts you want to keep, but make sure the pen point is on the parts you want to get rid of. And just keep that 
pen point on the part you want to get rid of, overlap the part you want to keep, and it knows what you want to do. And we can come back later with the eraser tool and unerase any errors we see. So I'll come back to you in a few minutes. Okay, I've almost got it. I went now and just got the regular eraser tool, and I'm just erasing the remnants that the background eraser has left behind. Okay, so I think I've done a pretty good job here. Let's do one last thing and add a drop shadow. This will really make our photo pop. So we'll go to the Effects menu, 3D Effects, Drop Shadow. Now feel free to play around with these options yourself, but I chose Blur at 100% all the way up, Opacity about 3 quarters of the way up at 75%. I have my Blur at 100%, Opacity at 75 You can do the offset just by dragging here if you like. You can see we actually get some interactive feedback here on our main window. Let's go with that and click OK. One last thing you can do is you can take these two elements, the picture frame and the flower, and merge them together. Right click on one of the layers, merge, down, open up another photograph, tile them, and drag your new flower over to your other picture. There you go. You know, all kinds of possibilities. Well, there you have it. It's a bit detailed, but it's not difficult. Try it yourself and have fun. We'll see you in our next Corel tutorial.